Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the State Road 434 Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Derek Dean, and I am the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the Department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project. We encourage your feedback, and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the projects and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project web pages at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441015-1 and cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443838-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvement to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email at melissa.mckinney at dot.state. FL US. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state. Dot fl dot us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. We will be presenting two overlapping projects this evening. The first, FPID 441015-1, involves repaving the roadway, safety, and mobility improvements, including bicycle lanes and sidewalks at various locations along State Road 434, from Rangeline Road to west of Talmo Street in Longwood. Because of planned Seminole County improvements, there is an exception from the project. The portion of State Road 434 on either side of Ronald Reagan Boulevard will not be improved at this time. The second project, FBID 443838-1, overlaps the first and involves safety and traffic operations improvements. In addition to the repaving included in the first project, this project involves replacing the existing two-way left turn lane with a raised median from west of Oleander Street to east of East Street in Longwood. With any roadway improvement project, access to property is always a concern. With the addition of the raised median, this project includes access management changes. Access management is the careful planning, location, type, and design of access between roadways and land development. It is used to balance access and mobility and promote safety by reducing the number of conflicts or places where vehicles could potentially cross paths and collide. Repaving of the existing roadway begins at Rangeline Road and continues to the beginning of the exception at Milway Street, west of Ronald Reagan Boulevard. Bicycle lanes will be provided on both sides of State Road 434 between Rangeline Road and Milway Street. Additionally, some driveways will be reconstructed and abandoned driveways will be removed to enhance safety along the corridor. Lighting enhancements are also included at the signalized intersections. Repaving resumes east of Ronald Reagan Boulevard, where the exception ends. In this segment, the existing two-way left turn lane will be replaced 
with a raised median with both full and directional openings as shown on the aerial map. Directional openings will allow traffic to turn left from 434 onto side streets, while side street traffic must turn right onto State Road 434 and make U-turns to travel in the opposite direction. This configuration reduces the chances of angle and left turn crashes, which can result in the most serious injuries. Wider pavement will be provided at U-turn locations. At Grant and Wayman Streets, the traffic signals will be reconstructed and pedestrian signals will be added to meet current Americans with Disabilities or ADA standards. For the section of the project from Rangeland Road to the exception west of Ronald Reagan Boulevard at Milwee Street, the four existing travel lanes will be maintained but will be restriped to allow for the addition of bicycle lanes on each side of the roadway. The existing sidewalks and curb and gutter will remain. From east of Ronald Reagan Boulevard, to the end of the project west of Talmo Street, the existing four lanes will be maintained, but restriped to accommodate the new landscaped raised median. The existing sidewalks and outside curb and gutter will remain. We are currently in the design phase of the project schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed in early 2026. Right-of-way acquisition will be needed for FPID 443838-1 and is expected to begin in early 2024. Construction is funded and expected to start in summer of 2026. We encourage your input and feedback about these projects. There are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Thursday, April 6, 2023, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. Those attending in person are invited to ask questions and share feedback with the project team during the open house. To submit a comment for the project's public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on either project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441015-1 or cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443838-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at derek.dean at dot.state.fl. US, or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5161 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, please visit cflroads.com. Type either project number 441015-1 or 443838-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the websites now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on these projects. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Thursday, April 6, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project websites at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441015-1 and cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443-838-1. Thank you for your interest and participation. Have a good evening.